Yes. Okay. Uh, good day, everyone. Thank you for introducing. Uh, as mentioned, uh, today we'll talk about behavior of Lawrence meeples in the complex space. So, uh, Lawrence Mee resonances have been known more than 100 years. They manifest themselves as a sharp structure in the extinction versus size parameter dependency. There are a lot of works devoted to this subject. Uh, all can calculate them, all can measure them. Almost all of you are familiar with them. Uh, but behavior in a whole complex space are not investigated yet. I'm, I'm sorry, I have a black box in the right hand part of my screen. Oh, okay, thank uh, you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that, that's better. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> moreover, uh, Jurgen and Mishenko um, provide a conjecture recently that for a passive uh, external uh, Primitivity, all resonances are placed in dashed area uh, of uh, sphere primitivity. So uh, here we're going to prove this conjecture, simulate resonance behavior and uh, classify them. Uh, first of all, we are considering non-magnetic space and all complexity hides in uh, primitivities uh, also, we are using a standard size parameter and uh, size parameter related to a sphere. Due to square operation, these parameters uh, defined in a left uh, a half of complex plane and uh, uh, up is for passive and down is for active. The theory explains resonances as poles of uh, Lorentz Mi coefficients. And uh, that is, uh, denominators uh, should be equal to zero to find the uh, conditions for pole or resonance. As you can see, uh, the functions are not elementary, but uh, in these parameters, variables are luckily separated and form a new functions, their logarithmic derivatives. In general, basic functions are well studied, but um, we didn't find uh, necessary properties related to argument and asymptotic behavior and derive it by ourselves. It is a massive part of our work, but we will not discuss in, uh, it here, but uh, use uh, results of it. So, to find a resonance area, we decide to look at left and right part of um, uh, of our uh, to look at argument of left and right part of these equations. Our mathematical results provide us um, uh, provide us ranges uh, argument ranges for combinations of parameters. We intersect them and obtain these areas which are exactly the same of what was predicted earlier for passive media and even narrower for magnetic coefficient. Uh, in the case of uh, active media, we didn't find any rigorous results, but uh, you will see further in simulation that all complex planes are filled with resonances. Before we start discussing uh, simulation results, it is important to note that sketching cross-section has infinite number of uh, lorentz mi coefficients. Each coefficient has infinite number of uh, poles or resonances. Resonances have uh, complex uh, trajectories in two-dimensional complex space. So uh, here we are going to look only at cross-section of four-dimensional space. Uh, with one fixed parameter and uh, focus only on tens order of coefficients which uh, contains enough features and further increase only increase uh, the number of repetitions. Here we are. Um, on the slide you can see all found resonances for different uh, parameter modules. Uh, the passive media 
was considered in theory and gray area denotes approved resonance free zones also each color um, every color uh, correspond to a specific type of resonance and uh, let's um, look on these types uh, first of all the f and g functions uh, have fast uh, access to asymptotic behavior so uh, we can approximate these uh, equations for large x and x equals 10 20 would uh, would be enough for 10 solar we will see that um, all resonances are close to basal zero or basal function or its derivative zeros on this animation, you can see how exactly resonances are moving with changing uh, arc x and uh, also see one asymptotic solution for large x and y, x equals y equals 20, uh, so-called non-scattering case. Uh, the same for small x. And uh, it is important to note that uh, almost all observed in experiment resonances are basal zero resonances because they are close to real axes of x and y another type of resonances uh, uh, obtained uh, here for large uh, y and uh, they are close to henkel function or its derivative zero and the same for small y um, also, you can see one asymptotic solution for small uh, x and y. It is a remarkable case. Please uh, uh, remember this one. X and y are convenient parameters, but uh, what's going on if we uh, consider this problem in more classical size and refractive index? In this case, uh, uh, BZRs and RZRs uh, 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 how BZRs try to keep relation between M and X, which equals Y, and uh, also resonances can push each other here and uh, change their classes. Um, in uh, this case, uh, asymptotic uh, solutions observed uh, with a specific uh, M value. Uh, in the case when M tends to this volume, uh, one trajectory with two uh, resonances tends to zero. As I said, it is a remarkable case because um, um, this um, uh, for negative uh, external uh, for negative spheres permittivity, these poles cause uh, so-called surface models or plasmon resonances. Uh, I would like to tell more about it, but uh, the time is limited. So here the conclusion. Uh, therefore, we investigated properties of uh, Riccati Bechel functions, provide resonance-free regions, constructed a full description of uh, resonance trajectories, including asymptotic behavior and classification and confirmed results by simulations. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I would be glad to hear your question. Uh, thank you, Andre. Uh, are there any questions to the speaker? I don't uh, see any hands uh, for now. Okay, so I can ask a question. Um, uh, can your results uh, be generalized to multi-layer spheres and uh, can you predict uh, what uh, what difference in uh, the resonance behavior uh, in comparison with uh, a bulk sphere ca can we expect or mm, i think uh, it can be generalized but uh, the problem is uh, with uh, these coefficients uh, with these coefficients. I, uh, now I uh, can't uh, say what, uh, uh, how they look in, 
how it will for multi-layer spheres, uh, I can remember. So um, uh, it is important uh, the resonances are uh, described by this, uh, uh, these poles. But uh, I think, yes, it can be done uh, in future, maybe. Okay, thank you.